What's up guys, welcome back to Art Statue Collector unboxing and review. Now I received this piece a couple of weeks back and I know a lot of you guys are eager to see it. I just now have the time to do it. So uh, this is Prime One Studio, one third scale, Arkham City Harley Quinn DX version with bonus. So let's get her out of the box. All right, now we got everything out and uh, this is the pamphlet that came with it, the assembly instruction. And also I just found out that mine is just a regular DX. I asked Dojo about it and they said I only ordered the DX. So I can't really remember, but it would be nice to have a bonus version as well. That is a Jester head sculpt, which I kind of do like, but not a big deal. So let's get them assembled. All right, now that I got her assembled, um, this is from the Arkham City game from 2011, which I don't really play the games. And um, I don't collect this line either, but I see this Harley Quinn is so nice when I see the promotional pictures. And I'm serious, uh, it's probably the only Arkham City or Arkham Knight piece I will own. Now let's check out the details. Let's start from the base. So in the front here with sub base, you see the Harley Quinn logo with rows and the dice all around you see like the back of um, like a wooden floor and also you see some more Harley Quinn logo around the sub base is uh, like a torn metal some sort looks pretty cool all the way around and moving up you see a checkerboard tile that looks really nice you see a lot of shadings and then you have this Joker doll with the bomb attached to it with the timer in the back. These you can just place anywhere you want. Here you have a bottle of uh, Jack, <laughs> it said Johnny Daniels, but it's Jack Daniels. Spillage all over the floor and you see a lot of bullets, shells laying all around. And here you also have the ashtray with cigarettes in it. You can place this anywhere you like as well. And here you have the jester box with, you know, bad rank stuck in it. This kind of like wiggle around too. The box is really nice. You see all type of uh, Harley Quinn logo with the heart, spade. And here you have the big hammer of her just laying here, it, but it has a peg as well right here so it doesn't move. All right, and then you have the sofa here. It's a leather sofa, you can tell. And in the back, you can see uh, the corset design with 
Easter egg of Batarang stuck in it. Very nice texture as well. And here you have Harley Quinn sitting on it. Now she has like um, her Arkham outfit. Very nice, you can see the leather boots. Two different color and some more design on the leather. And she's just sitting here posing, holding a bat. Very nice, the skin tone is very nice and pale. And you see like the tattoo of the Joker card as well. And even in the back, you can see her thong showing in the back here. And she's also wearing a corset as well with a leather strap with her bra showing. She even got a little bracelet and a glove. And she even got a uh, little neck belt as well. The design behind here, you can see it as well. That is a strap. And of course her portrait, the, the DX has three different portraits. So yeah, this first one, you can see she's kind of like looking to her right. The hair is very well. You can see uh, the blonde in it and the tip of it is black and red. Got a big red lipstick and she also does have like a big earring as well. All right, and then these are the other two portraits. One, she's winking and looking off to the right. Here, you, right here you can kind of like adjust the earring however you like. It's basically almost the same scope but just different expression. And they also come with this headstand as well for both, which is nice. You can, you know, display them all. And this one, it's just with a winking, looking to the same direction, but with open mouth. I really like that. You can see a lot of details inside her mouth as well. All right, now let's check out the dimension. Since it's a round base, the radius is about 55 centimeter or 21 and a half inches all the way around. Check out the height all the way to the tip of her ponytail is about 57 centimeter or 22 and a half inches. Give or take. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys my thought. Let's check it out. All right, let's start with the base. I think the logo is really nice with the, you know, the little dice over here, make it looks really good. The wooden painted really nice, I like that. But the sub base here, the metal look, I mean, it looks plasticky. I mean, not a big deal, but could have been better. And also like the paint of this design on the side as could have been done better as well. Maybe have some like more shadowing or make it 
more metallic, I guess. All right, and I really like the shaker tile here. Like you can see a lot of uh, crack damage and you know, it's uneven all over, which is really cool. I like that. You know, the bullet shells, they look okay. Nothing really special about that. Liquid here, it could have been better. I think it just looked kind of weird. The bottle looks really nice. I mean, made out of real glass, I believe. Very really cool. Okay, and the Joker doll, that, this looks pretty awesome. I kind of like that. And it got some weight to it as well. You can place that wherever you like. This ashtray, I mean, it looks okay, but nothing really special about it. It's just a really good Easter egg. All right, and this jester box is pretty cool. You can kind of move him around, whatever. And it's three parts to it. This piece, uh, the lid of the box, and the doll itself, you just have to pack it in. That's kind of nice. The hammer got really nice texture, but you know, maybe they should have made more detail, I guess, to it, make it pop, but since it's in the back, it's not really going to matter that much. All right, and the sofa, really nice detail in the back here with the corset. And this batarang here, um, it has a peg, but I feel like it's going to fall off at any time. All right, but the sofa itself looks really good. You can see a lot of detail, the stitching. And even up in the front here with the wooden legs, Looks really good around, man. The red really complements Harley Quinn. I mean, it goes really well together. It doesn't look like everything is just all too red, but I think they kind of made a great decision on that. All right. You can see like a lot of details in the back as well. That's really nice. Let's move up to Harley Quinn herself. Check out the texture of the boot. I mean, wow. They really did a nice job on that, on this leg as well, even though it's red. I kind of like that. So I guess, um, you know, this is her exact outfit in the game. I'm not sure, but I like the design a lot. Okay. And her outfit, I really like. I mean, there's a lot of details all around. Even the belt, the belt, uh, the buckle kind of needs some work, but other than that, don't mind it. You can see her thong right here, really nice. The tattoo, pretty cool as well. I kind of like her skin tone as well. Really nice. Texture of her bra, the strap. I mean, could have been a little bit cleaner on the side, but nothing too major. And this, I kind of like this uh, bat right here with a bloody at the tip. You can see some butt dripping next around it. Just you know, to show her that she is brutal. Oh, here, that's a more tattoo of Joker as well with roses right here. Overall, it's really nice, man. Check out her portrait. I think her portrait is just spot on, man. She looks really beautiful with the lead lips. The hair is well sculpted, well painted. Her earring, this is mixed media and I don't mind that at all. I really like the red as well. All right, I changed up her portrait and I think this is the best one so far. So I'm gonna use this for sure. I really like um, the detail like inside her mouth and the way that she's winking, looking over, kind of teasing. That looks really good, man. Yeah, all of her portrait looks really good, which I really dig with this piece. All right, so overall, she's great, man. All right, what do you guys think of this Harley? To me, I think she's the best Harley out there in the market right now. And I paid about $1,400 for the DX version, which is not bad. And she's also uh, display friendly as well, so that really helps. So you guys let me know down in the comment of what you think or you have this coming or not. And I'll see you guys on the next review. Peace.